Hey guys, Wedrox here from Rocket League Mods. This is just a quick tutorial on using Ninja Ripper to rip game models and textures directly from your game. So as you can see I have Ninja Ripper open here. You need to run this in administrator mode otherwise this won't work because it needs to be able to run the application and also be able to access it while it's running. So before you run it you won't see the stuff I've got set up here. So if I go to find my EXE for Rocket League it's in the Steam Apps Rocket League Binaries Win32 folder and you have to double click on it and then the same directory for this one. So your output directory is where all these will be saved. Uh, you can change that to wherever you want. In my settings I just have hotkeys set up to save things. Now you want to have the D3 D9 wrapper that is how you will be ripping it from the game. And when you're ready, you can click Run. So this will open up an instance of Rocket League with everything um, plugged in, basically, and ready to go. So the way this works is that you find a scene, and then you rip the scene. So this is a scene. When you're in-game, that's a scene. But you want to... You don't, you don't really want to be in-game, because you don't need to be. If I go into my garage and I set it up, my, I set up my car however I want it. So I say I wanted the Merc, I wanted uh, to get the, the dots and I also wanted to keep it glossy or something like that. If I want, if you want certain um, uh, paint types then you can select them and they'll come out as a different file. But I'll just keep mine as glossy for now. Actually I'll, I'll do brushed metal or carbon fiber so you can see what I mean. So now that I've got that set up, I have my hotkey set to F10 to save everything in the scene. So if I tap F10, it'll look like the game's frozen because it's now taking a snapshot of everything that's in the scene. So everything you see on the screen, you should be able to find afterwards. So I should be able to find my icon, my banner, my level, all that kind of stuff. So now that's unfrozen, I know that it's done. You can exit the game now if you want, or you can continue by ripping different cars while you're in here. So now that I'm out of there, I want to browse to where I've actually ripped this to, which in my case, I just click browse here and you can do that too. And then double click on Ninja Ripper and you want to find the file that you made. So I've got three here because I had a tutorial before that I was doing and stuffed up. Right, it's open somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but we'll get around to that later. So if I go into the one I just made, you'll see loads of things called mesh.rip and you'll also see lots of DDS files. So the DDS files, your textures, so everything that's in there that is like visual without being a mesh is going to be a DDS file. So all the meshes, it's very hard to understand which ones are what. So the best idea I can give you is to jump into your modeling software of choice, download the plugin in the description and install it. So I'm going to use Maya. And you can import all of the meshes and delete the ones you don't need, which is a lot faster than trying to select certain ones. So if I go to my Ninja Rip, I've got it set up here. If I hover over it, that's the um, command that's running. It's just importing the import tools. So I've have, I have my scale set to 0.10. And I'm going to go import, import files and select all of the meshes because it's easier than selecting certain ones. Because every time you import it, it will be slightly different. There we go. So now if I go, I know that my car is going to be in the center. So if I select all. And then deselect this. No, it didn't work. Oh well. If I select part of parts of it and slowly destroy it, <laughs> I should get to a position where I can then select my mesh, and then if I inverse it, I should be able to delete everything else in the scene. There we go. So now I've got my Merc. It's currently upside down. So you probably are going to want to flip it. 
Okay. So this is definitely the Merc, because as you can see, you can see the different parts of the body. So if I wanted to save that, I can save it using my FBX exporter. Here you go, FBX export. Then export all, and save it. So that's your uh, body of the car done. The wheels, as you can see, are not on it, because the wheels are a separate mesh. So I can exit out of this now. And now I want to see which textures are my car's textures. So to do that, I go back into where I ripped it to. And I'm going to sort by size because textures are always bigger. So the biggest textures you're going to have are going to be your bump maps and your car textures because your car textures are something you're going to see all the time and your bump maps are going to give it more detail. So you're not going to use, like game developers aren't going to use low quality textures on that. So if I double click this one, it will come up behind me. So this is the bump map for... Um, I'm not sure what it's for, <laughs> but whatever you selected is probably what's going to be on here. So I can exit that, that's not the one I want. Uh, so, ah, so this is the RGB layer for the Merc. This is the normal texture layer. Oh, maybe this is RGB, this must be bump map. And this is um, reflectivity, I believe. And here is the, ah, oh, so this is just the texture. So this is the dots texture that I had. This is all that texture looks like. Yeah, so I'm not sure what half of these do, but I'm sure you'll be able to find out. So I know that all of these are going to be the ones that I need. So if you look at the numbers here, these are all in a line, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, then there's 6, 7, I don't know where they've gone, but basically these are all the ones you're going to need. You won't need 68. So what we do with these is you can literally use these however you want. You can apply them to your car in Maya, whatever you're doing with it, or as I'm going to end up doing with it, I'm going to try and continue on creating my chop shop and adding all the textures that I can. So I hope this has been useful for you to figure out how to rip directly from the game. This method should always be um, able to be done because it's, it's a direct rip. It's not going through any game files. It's just taking what's being rendered and you can't encrypt that. So this should always keep working.